This training video will show you how to administer medications to a patient in St George's Hospital using iClip. From Parachart, navigate to the patient access list. This list will show which patients have medications due in a chronological order. From here, you can double click on a pill icon and this will give you the option of viewing medications that are due at any given time. Right click, select open record and click on meds administration. Within time view, using the navigator bands, you can select to view medications by scheduled, PRN or continuous titratable. Therapeutic class view will split the chart by the class of medications, i.e. gastrointestinal agents or central nervous system agents. And route view splits the chart by the route of which to be administered. The yellow column represents the time now, with future times lying to the right and past times lying to the left. At this point, a clinical review of the chart should take place to ensure that the medications prescribed for the patient are correct in terms of dose, route, form and indication. The last administered section, as seen here, indicates the last time this drug has been administered by any route. Allergies can be checked from the record by clicking on the banner bar. You can check if any alerts have fired by right clicking on any of the prescriptions and clicking alert history. Refer any issue to the medical team. At any stage, you can right click on the prescription and select reference manual. This will give you more information about the medication, including side effects, which may be useful in counseling the patient. By the patient's bedside, assess what medication the patient may need. Once you have established the patient's requirements, it is time to go prepare the medicines. Patient's medications may be available in the pod locker. This will be indicated by pharmacy on the prescription here. If medications need to be collected from the drug treatment room or drug trolley, remove your card from the workstation on wheels. Once reinserted into the computer in your drug storage room, your latest session will load up. Here, you should use the meds administration window as a reference for the medications and doses you need to collect. Once gathered, take your card and the medicines to the patient's bedside with the box, reinsert your card into the workstation. Confirm the patient's name, date of birth, and ask if they have any allergies or side effects against the medications prescribed. To begin administration, click on the Medication Administration Barcode button on the top menu bar. You will now be prompted to scan the patient's wristband. A list of all medications due will then appear. Scan the medication barcode to validate it matches the prescription. To achieve the desired dose, for example if you are administering two 500mg paracetamol tablets for a 1g dose, you will need to scan the barcode twice indicating that two tablets are needed. You are now ready to administer the medication. Once administered, review medications selected and when happy, click sign. By refreshing the meds administration window, the administered dose will show as verified and signed. For IV medications, these should be prepared in the drug prep room, referring to the medication administration record on screen. Once prepared, take all packaging to the bedside. Scanning the patient's wristband and then the medication, a yellow box indicates more information is needed. Set up your smart pump as per guidance, referencing the prescription for information. Prep your line and to commence the infusion, start your smart pump. Coming back to the computer, Enter the site of administration here. The diluent and volume administered can also be entered here. This feeds directly into the patient's fluid balance. In the comments, document the batch number 
and expiry date of the medication. If a witness is required, they can enter their details here. Clicking OK will prompt the witness to enter their password. Once satisfied with all of the above, click Sign. When administering infusions, ensure to cross-reference the strength of the additive, the volume of the diluent, the rate in mils per hour, and the normalised rate. The system will assess the quantity of medication being administered and check this against the prescription. If the quantity or dose scanned is less than what is prescribed, an alert symbol, as shown here, will display. Depending on the patient's requirements or a prescriber's request for a dose range to be made available, this administration may proceed. Prior to signing, you should click in the results section review the dose to be administered and once happy click sign. If the quantity or dose is more than what is prescribed an overdose warning will display. There are some instances where this alert should be overridden. For instance if you are administering part of a dose unit for example administering half a tablet or a portion of a vial it will be appropriate to override the alert. Administering volumes of liquid less than 5 ml will also prompt an overdose alert, as 5 ml is defined as one standard dose. The dose administered can be updated by clicking on the results section and updating the dose to be administered. The blue tick represents that the prescribed dose matches the dose being administered. If a barcode is not recognised, a warning will pop up. If the medication is recognised but is not prescribed for this patient or does not fall within the time frame of, for administration, this alert will appear. If the barcode on the medication does not scan or no barcode is available, you can manually select the prescription by clicking the box to the left and manually overriding the scan. Select an appropriate care admin reason from the drop-down menu. For barcodes not recognised, select this box and scan. This information is audited regularly to ensure safe practice. Please note, manual override should only be used when absolutely necessary as this overrides all safety functionality of barcode scanning. To record a medication as not given, from the meds administration screen, Right-click on the dose and record not done. Alternatively, you can record the dose as not given within the medication administration window. A review of all medications administered or due is visible in the medication summary.